be trying some classic Egyptian dishes today, including camel. Here's what the restaurant looks like. Wow, it is smoky in here. Really nice seating area. Okay, camel liver. So this is the softest part of the camel right here. This is camel liver right here. The tahini in Egypt is phenomenal. Oh my god, Medulkaya is amazing. What? That is so good. I'm very excited about this one. We got rice with noodles inside. Okay. This looks like a kebab. We've got time for the star of the show. So it looks like he's cooking the liver until it gets really tender. Whole plate with camel meat. Look at that camel liver. This is a stuffed pigeon here in Cairo, Egypt. It actually tastes exactly like a duck breast. Ooh. This is Alexandria style falafel. Wow, that looks good. Filled with cheese and meat. Oh, frozen fruits. So this is tajin style shawarma, the best shawarma place in Cairo. Assalamu alaikum my friends and welcome to Giza, Egypt. We are in Giza, a suburb of Cairo where the Great Pyramids of Giza are and today we're going to be heading to a restaurant called Al Kardesi which is also known as the King of Liver because they serve camel and camel products, especially camel liver. I'm here with my friends, my boys who've been traveling across Egypt with me and we're going to head into the restaurant right now, show you guys a bunch of delicious delicacies that can be made with camel meat. I've never tried camel before and I'm super excited for this so let's check out Al Kardesi. Here's what the restaurant looks like. Hello. Wow, it is smoky in here. Just cooking some fresh pitas here. Whoa, look at the smoke in here. This is awesome. So we have a local friend with us here. She's from Giza and she explained to us that uh, there is a region of Giza called Kerdesa. Kerdesa that specializes in camel meat. And uh, this is something that we're going to do today. We're going to do a little bit of an Egyptian food taster right now. We're going to be trying some camel meat and some camel liver, as well as some other little dishes because our friend over here is vegetarian and we don't want to force him to eat any sort of ungulates. You know what an ungulate is? I don't. It's the, this, this family of camels. Say it with me. Say ungulate. Ungulates. Yalla Habibi, let's eat some camel. So we got the music blaring here in the background and we also got a really nice seating area. It's pretty sweet. So this is a seating setup. We're just going to order some camel meat right now with the smokiness coming through and there's songs of the Quran playing in the background, blessings. Pretty authentic seating, huh Moshe? Yeah. Alright, in the smokiness of this place we got some pita bread. Some Egyptian pita bread. Ooh. Ooh, fresh made right now on the taboon. Mm. Ah, so good. Wow. Friend Rana is taking us in to the kitchen right now show you guys how they prepare this camel meat if you don't like to watch this type of stuff I would skip forward in the video a little bit till the part we're eating Jamal Gamale Gamale Man, Egyptian people are the nicest people Egypt so good so good Egypt this is I take to eat oh like this Okay, camel liver. Very crunchy. Very salty. Mm. Wow. Oh my god, it's so good. I think it was the liver I had now. Wow, that was really yummy. That's exactly the kind of stuff I like to eat. It's like, reminds me of chicken heart a little bit. This one also Jamal? Uh, lachma. Lachma? Lachma gamali. Lachma gamali. So this is the softest part of the camel right here being prepared for us. Look how he's chopping it up. Very, very small pieces like that. Man, the flavor is still in my mouth. It's so good. So yummy. So it's almost kind of like, it kind of feels like a, uh, like a soft, flat, strip steak of camel. Barely any fat on it. Very, very thin meat. Just like that. This is camel liver right here. Ooh, la, la. Wow, look at that texture. That is a whole plate of camel liver here in Giza, Egypt. This is crazy. So cool. What an amazing food experience. And look again. Take a little look at this restaurant. Look how cool this is. Super, super local spot. We got some fresh ingredients too. Some spicy peppers, tomatoes, bell peppers. Look at those are organic looking bell peppers. Yeah, guys smoking shisha on the street here. It's awesome experience. We got some salad, some trina, tahina. tahina, more salad, Egyptian baladi salad. One of our first little trials here of Egyptian food, pita bread, tahini sauce, baladi salad. It's all gearing up to eat some camel. Egyptians watching, I hope I make you proud by eating it the way that I'm eating it. I don't know if I am, but 
The tahini in Egypt is phenomenal. I don't know the flavor, it's just super rich. And they have these like little this kind of looks like calamansi from the Philippines. <coughs> wow. Very nice. Mirupea? Egyptian food. All right, we got some more Egyptian dishes. This is milkea. You dip the pita in there? I think you eat so. Eat it like a soup. You gave me spoons. Oh, wow, it's super... Oh, man, look at that. Milkea? It's like this. You eat it You eat like this? Or you drink it like soup? No, no, it's with bread. With bread. It's what is None of it is meat, right? What? It's not meat. It's no, no, no. Dude, milkea. Wow. Oh, my God, milkea is amazing. What? That is so good. I'm very excited about this one. We got rice with noodles inside. Garnish with some carrot. Mm. I love this. This is like a macaroni noodle with rice. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, this looks like a kebab. Just a normal kebab. I've had kebab before. Tahini sauce on top. Mm. Wow. It's not camel, but it's delicious. Rana was telling us about very typical dish that's eaten in the Arabian world. It's called lisan asfur, which means the tongue of a bird. It's kind of like in Italy, they have a thing called frecola salada, which is like a, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like in between a pasta and a couscous. Moshe, you're gonna love this one. It's a little bit spicy. Wow, we've got time for the star of the show. So my friend over here has set up a table. He's got everything getting ready to go. We got camel liver and camel meat. This is apparently a very delicious delicacy served in this part of Giza, Egypt, right outside of Cairo. Not typically eaten everywhere, everywhere, and it's usually something that's eaten at home. One of very few restaurants, might be the only one in this area that actually does this. I'm gonna show you guys how we cook the whole. Step number one, we're sauteing some garlic, some onion. Smells are amazing. Spicy pepper. Okay, spicy pepper goes in. Camel meat goes in. We got peppers, black pepper. I don't know what that is, zatar maybe, chili. Garlic crack thrown in and mixing it up. Mix, 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 mix. So here's the camel meat cooking. Look at that, very oily, lots of oil in there. Lots of peppers, onions, a little bit of herb, a little more oil. I can already tell this is gonna be very, very, very delicious. Wow, I really like it. Very rubbery, very chewy, in a good way. Lots of flavor, that is really, really good. Okay, next one. Tomato goes in. The process of just mixing it, cutting it up, over again, adding some spices, making sure it's cooked to perfection. Now we got bell peppers coming in. Another one, and another chili. Plating is done just like that. We got camel meat, baby. Okay, next up to be cooked is the camel liver. Check this out. We got our bowl of camel liver that's been sitting here for a little while, cleaned up, ready to go. Oil and peppers going in. We got chili peppers and green peppers. Tomatoes getting cut up and tomatoes go in. A little more of that pepper that I don't know what it is. So this is an apparently some sort of mix of uh, rock salt and peppers. And then we got the liver. Boom. So it looks like he's cooking the liver till it gets really tender. Very thin slices of, of liver as well. You can see it kind of folding out. Lots of aromas of pepper here and chilies. A very spicy smell indeed. And really, really, really good. Opa. We have the liver plated up, ready to go. Oh, here comes the taste. Mm. Wow. Gamari, wow. Oh my god, it's so good. It's really sweet. I'm shocked. Wow, the camel liver is amazing. It's unbelievable, actually. Look at this. It's a celebration of food out here. Amazing. Wow. Gamali and Amali. Wow, wow, we were for real. This is amazing food. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys again sitting down. Everyone I see here in the restaurants eating with their hands. So we got lakhma gamali, which is camel meat, just like this. You can see it's very thin cut, chewy, very chewy. The flavor is like super peppery, very, very tough meat. I was expecting the flavor to not like not really have much at all. I'm not going to say right now that it's my most preferred meat ever. Like it's my favorite meat I've ever had in the world, but they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to spice and flavor, onion wise. I think that this is a great way to work with a hard meat. This was a very good. And I almost prefer it more medium rare. I think this is well done. Harder to chew, but it's very, very tasty. Next one we got is kabde gamali, which means liver of the camel. I've already tried this for you guys on camera, but I'll try it again. This 
is actually phenomenal. Oh my god, it's crunchy, but I love that texture. Man, it's so good. I don't know why it's so much better than the actual camel meat. And I'm a person who really doesn't like liver much at all. I, I would never go for liver. I never try to eat it. Put it in the malukhia. Camel liver in Egypt. I didn't think I would be eating it, but that's phenomenal. All right, a meat, camel liver. Camel liver, so pretty good. A little bit of chicken. But it's not super livery, right? It's more like uh, meaty. And what about this boy? Yeah. Chewy, but the flavor is good. Overall, I like it. The meat itself is just it's a little harder to eat. Yeah, still chewing it. You kind of can't really even get it down. The texture is very much a bubble gum. And this makes sense, yeah? Camel's an animal that's out working all day. doesn't really have any fat reserves. Oh my god, that camel liver is amazing. Look at that camel liver. Whole plate of camel meat. All right, so behind me, we're at a restaurant called God. We're here in the middle of downtown Cairo. We were here last night and we got some really cheap falafel and shawarma, which is really great. But they have a local delicacy here, which is called a stuffed pigeon. Yes, a pigeon stuffed with rice. That's what we're about to get. It's about 150 Egyptian pounds. It's like seven bucks. It's gonna be really delicious. I'm really excited for it. Let's head on in and get some. Whoa, that is so cool. Wow, <laughs> it's my first time. I don't know what to start with. So they gave us hamam soup. So this is pigeon soup. Uh, in the restaurant, we're eating camel. Mm. Very good, very oily. Oh, very spicy too. Check this out. They cover... Oh my god, this feels so weird. I don't know what to do with it. I kind of want to just take a bite. I think I'm just going to take a bite out of it. Alright, ready? This is stuffed pigeon here in Cairo, Egypt. Hamam. Mmm. Wow, that is fascinating. The skin is... Well, look at these little wings. Can you get in here? Look at these tiny little wings. Oh my god, this skin is so oily. Mm. And the meat is so... Look at this skin, man. Oh, it's so soft and, and juicy. It's stuffed with this delicious rice. It's kind of on the border of like a pecking duck. Look at that. Stuffed pigeon in Egypt. Here's the leg. I have to say, the, the meat is so... There's not a lot of it. Like, there's not a lot of meat to go around there. You can see it. It kind of tastes like chicken, like plant chicken. Guys, that is really good. This whole meal, seven USD, 150 Egyptian pounds. That is uh, like, that's beyond awesome. Beyond the deal, you get two pigeons for the deal. I'm trying to see, like I'm kind of curious about the anatomy of the pigeon here. I'm trying to see where we can get some meat, some even more meat to show you. I kind of almost miss it. It feels like there's not that much meat to go around, you know, it's just kind of like, the skin, kind of see it there on the back. But the skin is like more than delicious, it's fantastic. Stuffed pigeon, I'm totally into it. It's classy, it's delicious, it's a little bit spicy. It comes with some vegetables. So I was just ripping through here and I exposed the breast meat. Look at that. It actually tastes exactly like a duck breast. It's like a very small duck breast. Mm, it's super sweet. Wow, I'm actually surprised. This, this meat is really, really delicious. All the really tender meat between the ribs. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. The breast of a pigeon is amazing. Assalamu alaikum, my friends, and welcome to Egypt. We are in the middle of Cairo, the largest city in the Arab world. And today we're going to be showing you guys some fantastic Egyptian food. We're starting off with pretty much Egypt's national dish. It's called pushari. We're here at a restaurant called Abu Torek. We got a bunch of foreigners from outside of Egypt that are going to try Egyptian food for the first time. And we're very, very, very excited. So let's send Abu Torek and order some delicious koshari. This is the koshari. Yeah, this only koshari one, the rice and pasta and lentil chickpeas, onion, just tomato sauce. And no meat. No meat, just vegetarian. Just vegetarian. vegetarian. Nice. Yeah. That's amazing. So you can see how they're making the koshari. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. Fried onion, tomato sauce. Wow. So you can see the production line going from the front. The onions, the tomato sauce, tomato sauce, hot spicy, garlic, cinnamon. Wow. Salt and? Cumin. Oh, okay, perfect. Are you guys freaking excited? Don't yeah, for it. I'm really curious. Okay, so Nabil is showing us how we're gonna put together the koshari. This is salt and vinegar of garlic. A little spicy. And lemon. Fried onion. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good, my friend. Excellent. Oh, Enjoy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Very yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Salt bay over here. Pochetti is made of rice, noodles, you got chickpeas, lentils in here, tomato sauce, fried onion. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that is so good. Hearty, delicious pasta dish you can have. It's really dense with carbs. And the pasta is like this thick noodle. Wow, it's so good. That is amazing. Just a little look for you guys what the restaurant looks like. And <laughs> the view is awesome. This is Abu Torek, actually the owner, the founder of this restaurant. So they got a nice picture of him. And it's help yourself by yourself. You got a little duck that says takeaway. I love it. It's very authentic. I wouldn't say necessarily a hole in the wall, but like very authentic, original restaurant, which is, uh, it's always great to come to a place like this where there's locals. And I think we chose the right time. And this restaurant, by the way, is open 24 seven, except for Ramadan. Wow, that's crazy. $7 the whole thing. We just ate breakfast. Man, Egypt is the place to be if you're on a budget. Budget traveling is amazing. There you go, my friend. Can you touch here? Shukran. All right, that was awesome. Great first meal in Egypt, huh? That was really, really delicious. So now we got more Egyptian food to try, so let's head off to the next restaurant. How much? Seven. It's only seven, which is around 40 cents US, which is unbelievable. Just give the order up there, we collect it over there. <laughs> Whoa, this is Alexandria style falafel. It's like a big loaf of falafel that apparently is stuffed with something on the inside. And the pita, very Egyptian style pita, very thin. Try it again. Oh, it's really good. It's way better than the falafel we had the other day. You see that right there? So they don't do falafel here as little circles. They do it as one big patty. Full of salad, good tahini sauce. Some fig juice on the side. Wow, that's great. For 40 cents, I mean, I don't know how you can beat it. There is Egyptian style, Alexandria style falafel. Moshe, our in-house vegetarian. How very good. Really good, huh? Wow, mm. yummy. is the best falafel in Cairo. So it's supposedly the best one in Egypt. Let's bounce off to our next restaurant. Let's go. So this is al Rafai. Awaushi here. It's like this, it comes in a box. It's an Egyptian bread stuffed with meat. And uh, this place is also a butcher shop. Yeah, we just got one. Oh, wow, that looks good. Filled with cheese and meat. Wow. Puts in the oven. Kind of looks like a pita with meat and cheese. Put in the oven, cooked up really nice. Wow, beautiful. I think from what I understood online, reading's uh, more of a late night grub. Amit and I are gonna try this one because it's meat and cheese, it's not much in the department. Look at that. Wow, this is like a really cool food. Wow, it's hot. Full of oil. It's also like 95 degrees outside right now. Mmm, it's great. We got some salad. It's like some nice tomato over here. Mmm. There's a lot of layers there. Peas and beef, tomato, pepper. If I had to explain it in one way, it's like putting a hamburger patty inside of a pita, frying it like a quesadilla. It's a quesadilla pita burger all in one, and it's freaking awesome. It costs $2. Cairo is like king of the cheap food in the Middle East. It's amazing. All right, so we've come to the most popular shawarma place in Cairo. What I heard of is called Karam Al Sham. And I mean, I'm hoping that this is a less busy time because it seems a little bit less busy than what it was the last couple of days. But apparently this is the best shawarma here. I've gotten multiple recommendations about it and there is just chaos when it comes to ordering. I heard you just literally just got to go in and kind of rush the order and try to get it in as fast as possible. So we're going to try to order some shawarma from here and see what happens. Look how amazing the shawarma looks. Look at that shave. Oh. You see this very small little neighborhood spot here, El Karnak, and it's right on Main Street, just across from the amazing shawarma. Should be pretty good. I'm really excited for this. The thing that we were told to order is a kombela. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's some sort of Egyptian sweet or dessert. Last night when I saw it, it was like a strawberry tart and they had chocolate tart. Now it kind of looks like leche flan. I'm not really sure. I have no idea. It was kind of shocked. I think it's raspberry, mango, cheese, ice cream. Oh, frozen fruits. Whoa, what am I eating right now? See that? I don't even know what this is. It's like a puree. Whatever this is, Moshe, you're gonna absolutely love this. There's like yogurty custard at the bottom, but I have no idea what this is. I think you're gonna love it. It's kind of like yogurty cheese though. Kombela in Asia. What am I eating? I don't know. I wish I had an answer to what we were eating. It's one of those moments where like, we need to guide this, but it's amazing. Reminds me of something my dad used to do. We used to take orange juice, take bananas and mush the bananas. It's kind of what it tastes like. The bite is so nice. Look, it's like golden. Mm, it's like knuckle on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? And that costs $2. This has got to be one of the most affordable places I've ever been to for delicious food. Wow. Seriously. I would wonder what the other fruit tastes like. Okay, wait. It's, oh, it is knaf. It's not knaf. It's um, kadaif hairs. It's like kadaif spaghetti. It's the same sort of spaghetti they use for knaf. Yeah. 
yeah. and the bottom. Bombela is, wow, Egypt? Seriously, that's amazing. That is so delicious. We just scarfed that whole thing down. I'd be down for another one before we leave. I'm genuinely shocked that I came out of this with food. I'm actually shocked. Like, I'm amazed that I pulled it off. That was one of the craziest food ordering experiences in my life. There's zero order there. It's unbelievable. I think the amount of people that are there, this will be well worth it, I hope. So it's very similar style uh, shawarma that we had when we first got here to Egypt. It looks like we have, what, some sort of cheese sauce? Look at this, this little shawarma log. So this is tagine style shawarma, the best shawarma place in Cairo. Whoa, that is really, 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 really good. You see what's coming down? Wow, look at the layers. This is amazing shawarma. It's one of the best shawarma I think I've had. It's slightly smoky. Wow, that is so good. I like the Egyptian style shawarma because it stays all in one thing. Very easy to dip, very easy to go. I have to be honest about something. I was sort of semi planning on like not recommending coming here because the line is so chaotic and crazy to get here. Oh my God, it's worth it. Like it's definitely worth it. Just place the order, let them make it and then come and pick it up maybe like 30 minutes later. That's what I would suggest. It was fantastic. That's amazing for $2. That is an insane shawarma. Great. They've got a little ice cream station here outside. They've also got, they've got like sweets and desserts and buns. Kind of reminiscent of Japan, you know? But I'm very excited for this. We've been eating a bunch of amazing Egyptian food all day. I'm totally down to end it off with some amazing ice cream. Let's see how it works. Whoa, it's unbelievable. We just walked into this bakery, it's crazy. Whoa, well, Masha, look, Tolumba like filled with cream. But you have to pay for it on the inside and then you come back outside. Nuts flavored ice cream. What, what kind of nuts does it taste like? Hazelnut? I got chocolate and pistachio. This is the brightest green pistachio ice cream I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Chocolate's great. Pistachio's kind of salty. Oh, pretty good. Is it pistachio again? Yeah. Moshe? That's cotton candy. Cotton candy? And it's good or no? Mm -hmm. Mango tastes like mango. Yeah. It is literally 100 degrees Fahrenheit out in Egypt right now. I want to try some of your cotton candy one, Moshe. That is good. Yours looks really good though. Look how fast this ice cream is melting. <laughs> pretty good, right? It's just ambiguous ice cream. Overall, ice cream in Cairo, great success. I like, we like, I like. So we're in the Khaled Khalidi market now. I'm not sure what it is, but we just got it on the side of the road. It was a five Egyptian pounds. It looks like a cheesecake. It's not a cheesecake. You're gonna love this. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but you're gonna, this is gonna be, Moshe is gonna love this one. Mm. Mm. You're gonna go crazy for this one. Mm, it's like a porridge. But what's in there? What are those little granules? That's like rice pudding. Mm, it's like a sweet rice pudding. Actually, that's one of the freshest rice puddings I've ever had. And it's got um, it's got this cake in the inside. Really nice. Ooh, that's so sweet. All right, we're ending this food video here. Moshe has actually gotten some fatir. I forgot the full name of this, but it's fatir with cheese. Cheese and vegetable. It's a really nice oily bread. Mm, with cheese, very yummy. We actually already covered this one in a video prior when we explored this part of Egypt, of Cairo, sorry. Which but, is a must have. It's so good, I came back for seconds. He was saying this is his favorite Egyptian food, right? Overall, the Egyptian food we tried here in Cairo has been phenomenal, loved it. I want you guys to check out the hotel that we worked with down below in the description, as well as the travel company who helped us tour around down below in the description. And we will see you guys in the next one. Become a member if you want to support the channel. I love you long time. Goodbye, clats.